Hey, you know everybody, this is PND51010, and uh, today we're going to be looking at footage of alleged government super soldier, Project Camelot whistleblower Aaron McCollum. Um, some of you might have heard of him. You know, he's a uh, uh, he's prominent. You know, within again within the upper echelons of the truth movement and everything. Another another hybrid place, or I don't know what you know. They're just, you know, very prominent at the, the top levels of the, the truth movement. And uh, a couple things I want to show you today. This, First off, what you're looking at right now, this frame, you can see right here, uh, you know, around his eye area, how it's just the green hue, if you want to call it. It's not necessarily the green hue, but it's a darkened, almost like hunter green looking color formulating around his eyes. And uh, I'm going to show you other instances, and there's one instance too that's absolutely amazing because it shows him looking down at one point and he presses something on his chest and it makes a weird noise. It's no noise a computer makes and it only happens once during the whole, the whole video and I'll show you it. And it just, when you hear that and then you see the shape shape thing, you just put two and two together, you know, one and one together and it's just unbelievable, so... This is his interview with Alfred Lambermont Weber, ExoPolitics TV, who's another shapeshifter. Uh, but that's a different story altogether. So, all right, let's get into the first frame here, and that's 2250. Just bear with me, people, because I have to find the frame, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, you know. So just bear with me as I try to find this here. Okay. Hey, two. So we're going to get into the first shift here. Let me turn that down until uh, the part comes up where you need to listen. Alright, so you see this here also as well. You can see the slit pupil here. And you can see, it's almost like the Cavastalus video too as well where, you know, the, the, a texture map is thrown over the shifting. You know, and it creates, you can see two separate faces, you can see two, you know, at one point you can see very distinctly two sets of eyes. And I'm going to slow the speed down here. Let me just back it up here. Slow the speed down. Okay. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. And like I said before, you can see the slip pupil very distinctly. And look, you can you can start to see the second set of eyes emerge. And now it's completely distorted, and the only eye that's visible is in the middle of the forehead. And look, you can see down here. The reptilian mouth is visible a little bit. The e eye. Look here, you can see an eye. That's that eye with the slip pupil that we seen a second ago. And look on the bottom here, you can see the. Well, not as much as before, but on the source video, you'll be able to see it a lot better. And then it flashes back. And then there he is. This place is so rounded. 
And you can hear him right there. S -s 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 he couldn't pronounce his word. He kept slurring. And here we go again. He's starting to shift once again here. And then he gets it under control. Uh, where are we at here? Okay. And you'll be able to see the hexagonal angular eye rides too. If you look in the, the source video, you see his eyes changing color, going from blue to green. You know, just different color sets and just very anomalous eye activity as well. All right, let's get into the next one here, which is all the way back here. Bear with me, please. All righty. All right. Here we are getting into the second shift here. And you can see how he quickly comes out of it, like very fast, but it's very obvious as it's happening. We'll see it again here. I'll show it to you in real time. See how fast it happens? When you slow it down, you're able to see it a lot better. Alright, so I want to get to the part where he he looks down and press something on his chest. And you hear a very distinct noise. A very weird, audible noise. And I'll show it to you in slow motion and in regular motion. So you can hear the noise, you know, in two different, two different aspects of the noise. Alright, let's find this here. What is it at? It's 3153. Thank you for having patience with me, people. Alright, let's turn this up here. Back this out. Okay. They, they aren't <laughs> like higher entertainment for a festival. Did you hear that noise? If not, we'll do it again. They, they aren't <laughs> like higher entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. Isn't that unbelievable? I got the chills when I heard that. That's definitely a noise. I mean, he must be wearing a belt-like device, some type of holographic device, because that was definitely the device reacting to him, you know, manipulating it. And we'll hear that again. Just bear with me here. Don't, don't do that kind of thing. They, they aren't <laughs> like higher entertainment for a festival. This is what I'm... It's unbelievable. What I'm very to what... I mean, ETs don't do that. Don't... Alright, and I'm gonna... I want you to hear it in regular play speed so you can hear what it sounds like normally. Don't do that kind of thing. They, they aren't like hired entertainment for a festival, I guess. They, they aren't like hired entertainment for a festival, I guess is what... They, they aren't like hired entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. Is that unbelievable? They, they aren't like hired entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. One more time. They, they aren't like hired entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. See, he clearly touches something. No. And the device reacts to him touching it. I mean, I, I tried to think of what else it could it be. You know, maybe he, you know, a noise in the computer. You know, you hear sometimes people messing with their computer. It makes a weird noise. But that was just, I've never heard any computer make that type of noise. And, you know, you see him look down and just, you know, everything just fits. It's just very strange. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's proof that it's not Skype connection. All right, let's move on to the next one. I got a couple more to show you, and then we're gonna get out of here. So let's get to the next one. And 
that is here. Let me just slow the speed down so we can catch it. Resources in in the Colorado area. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Throw it down. see how heavily hooded and that's a very very common feature is the heavily hooded eyelids or the heavily hooded you know eye area with the with the dark the dark circles around them <clears throat> the mouth area is very anomalous as well and then he snaps right out of it Show you the last one here. Here's where they, where you really start to see the, the two separate eyes break off, the two separate pairs of eyes. Which one is his real set of eyes, I think, and the other, the the, the textured CG eyes. See. See the reptilian skin, the chin right there, underneath all the the, the texture masking. And then you can see a completely vertical pupil there. Let's just hear that noise one more time. We got a little bit more time left. We could just hear it one more time because that's just the highlight of this video here because I've never heard anything like that before. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Alright, here we are. Let's turn it up. Play. They, they are okay. like higher entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. They, they are okay. like higher entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. And his eyes were tremendously slit there, too. They, they are okay. like higher entertainment for a festival, I guess is what I'm saying. Well, hope you enjoyed this analysis. Be well and be in peace.